installment liquidation. Under this method, the realization of non-cash assets is accomplished over an extended period of time. Okay, sa installment liquidation, ang realization ng non-cash assets is accomplished over an extended period of time. Under installment liquidation, merong tinatawag na piecemeal realization of non-cash assets. Piecemeal meaning paunti-unti yung realization ng non-cash assets. When cash is available, creditors may be partially or fully paid. So, ganun pa din. After ma-realize or after ng piecemeal realization ng non-cash assets, is yung proceeds is pandagdag sa cash balance which is ibabayad naman sa mga creditors or liabilities to third parties. Any excess may be distributed to the partners in accordance with the program of safe payments or a cash priority program, this process persists until all non-cash assets are sold. So, after mabayaran si creditors, magdi-distribute na si partnership ng cash or any excess na cash sa pawat partners. And yung distribution niya ng cash is gagamitan niya ng tinatawag na program of safe payments or cash priority program. Kaya merong tinatawag na program of safe payment is para magkaroon ng equitable distribution ng cash sa bawat partners. Ma-avoid yung mga excessive cash payment to partners or yung mga kulang na payment sa partners. So kaya may safe payment is para ma-determine yung equitable cash payment sa bawat partner. Pwede siyang gawing safe payments approach para ma-determine yung distrib yung equitable yung equitable distribu distributable na cash sa partners or pwede rin cash priority program. And yung process, paulit-ulit lang until na maubos ang lahat ng non-cash assets, mabayaran ang lahat ng liabilities at mabayaran ng buo yung bawat partners. Schedule of safe payments. Distribution of available cash based on a schedule of safe payments which assumes possible losses due to inability of the partnership to dispose of part or all of the remaining cash assets and failure of partners with deficiencies to make additional contribution. So kapag dumating na sa point na kailangan magbayad, magbayad na ni partnership sa bawat partners is gagamit si partnership ng tinatawag na schedule of safe payments para ma-insure yung equitable share ng cash sa bawat partners. And sa schedule of safe payments is merong mga assumption. Ang, pa, ang assumption sa paggawa ng schedule of safe payments is possible losses number one, inability to dispose the remaining non-cash assets. So installment liquidation, merong paunti-unting realization ng non-cash assets. And number one assumption is any non-cash asset na maiiwan is ina-assume na hindi na siya madidispose. So kapag hindi na-dispose yung non-cash assets, yun ay magiging loss on realization. And number two, ang isa pang assumption sa schedule of safe payment is yung failure of deficient partner or partners to make additional contribution. Okay, syempre pag nagkaroon ng, ng loss on realization, may, pag, may possibility na yung partner ay magiging deficient. Meaning, yung capital balance niya is hindi enough para i-shoulder yung share niya sa loss on realization. Which, na pwedeng mag sa negative capital balance. And ang assumption, ang bawat partner na deficient is hindi makakapag-invest para i-close or i-zero balance yung kanyang deficient capital balance. So, yun yung mga possible losses sa schedule of safe payments which is yun yung assumption. So, pagkukompute ng cash payment to partners using schedule of safe payments. Illustration The partners of A, B, E, and Co. share profits and losses as follows. A, 60%. B, 15%. C, 10%. D, 15%. 
On March 31, they agree to liquidate their partnership. Prior to liquidation, the statement of financial position is shown below. Okay, may assets, non-cash assets, liabilities, B-loan, and their capital accounts. The following data relate to the realization of non-cash assets. Assets having book value of 54,000 sold on April for 30,000. Assets having book value of 24 sold on May for 18,000. Assets having book value of 2,000 sold on June for 1,000 pesos. Ang requirement, prepare a statement of partnership liquidation with schedule of safe payment to partners. So application to ng installment liquidation ay napansin natin, Yung realization ng assets is installment. So, merong na-realize nung April, may na-realize nung May, and may na-realize nung June. At nag-liquidate sila March 31, 2019. Gagawin natin is gagawa tayo ng partner, statement of partnership liquidation and schedule of safe payment to partners. Okay, so ito na yung data na kakailangan niya natin sa paggawa ng statement of partnership liquidation. So, nilagay natin yung balances ng bawat accounts from assets to capital accounts. Then, sa taas ng capital accounts, yun yung profit and loss sharing agreement ng bawat partners. So, gagawin natin, statement of partnership liquidation. Okay. Unang step, realization. Assets having book value of 54,000 sold on April for 30,000 pesos. So, yung 54 na book value na realize ng 30. So, yung difference nan is yun yung loss on realization 24,000 pesos. Yun yung loss on realization. Okay, lagay natin dito. Realization nung April Assets having book value of 54 sold for 30. Okay, yung non-cash assets mababawasan ng 54. Cash is mananagdagan ng 30,000 pesos. Therefore, yung difference na 24,000 loss on realization is hatiin ng bawat partners. 24,000 times 60%, 14,400. 24 times 15%, 3.6. 24 times 10%, 2,400. D capital, 15% ng share sa loss on realization, 3.6. Okay, balances after realization. forty thousand sa cash. 26,000 sa non-cash assets, 6,000 liabilities, 2,000, then 5,600, 29 minus 3.6, 25,400, 20,600, 10,000 minus 3.6, 6,400,000. ,6 Next, after ma-realize ang mga non-cash assets, payment of liabilities 6,000 yung liabilities so babawasan natin si cash ng 6 6,000 sa liabilities balance after payment ng liabilities Cash is 34,000. Non-cash assets, 26. Liability, 0. B-loan, 2,000. Capital balances remain the same. Okay. Bayad na yung liabilities. So, so natin gagawin is magdi-distribute na tayo ng cash sa bawat partners. And paano natin i-distribute yung 34,000 pesos? Diyan na papasok yung tinatawag na schedule of safe payments to partners para ma-assure natin na yung distribution ng cash sa bawat partners is equitable. Walang sobra, 
bayad sa partners, walang kulang na mababayad sa partners. Yun yung purpose ng schedule of safe payments. Okay, gagawa na tayo ng schedule of safe payments for the month of April. Sa paggawa ng schedule of safe payments, ko consider natin yung capital. 5.6, 25.4, 20.6, 6.4. Saan galing yun? Yun yung capital balances af before distribution ng cash. Yan yung capital balances after ng first realization tsaka payment of liabilities. After makonsider ng capital, consider din natin yung mga loan accounts. Loans. Sino yung may mga loans? Okay. CB lang yung may loan. Loan na payable kay B. 2,000 pesos. So, si A ay walang loan. Si B, meron siyang loan. 2,000. Si C, wala. D, wala. Total interest ng bawat partner sa partnership is 5.6 kay A. 27,400 kay B 20,600 kay C 6,400 kay D Ayan Okay, balikan natin yung assumptions ng schedule of safe payments Possible losses, number one Inability to dispose the remaining non-cash assets Okay, dito napapasok yung mga possible losses Possible Losses. Okay, una, inability to dispose the remaining non-cash assets. Yung unrealized na non-cash assets amounting 26,000 pesos. Ang assumption, what if hindi na mabenta itong 26,000 na to? So, magiging loss on realization yan na 26. And hahatiin yan based on profit sharing agreement ng partners 26,000 times 60% that is 15,600 26,000 times 15 3.9 26 times 10% 2,600 26 times 15 3.9 okay Balance After considering yung number 1 Na inability to dispose the remaining non-cash assets 5.6 minus 15.6 Negative 10,000 27.4 minus 3.9 20.6 20 minus 2.6 18,000 6.4 minus 3,900 equals 2,500. Okay. Next. Second assumption, failure of deficient partners to make additional contribution. Second assumption, failure of deficient partners to make additional contribution. Okay. Nagkaroon ng deficient partner. Ito, negative 10. Si A, and ang assumption, hindi siya makakapag-invest para makover itong negative 10,000 pesos. So, ang mangyayari, yung 10,000 is a-absorbin ng mga natitirang partners. So, yung possible loss, number 2, yung capital deficiency ni partner A, 10,000 na hahatiin ni B, C, at D. Okay. Paano hahatiin yung 10,000? Ano ang basis? So, nag-iba na yung profit and sharing agreement. So, ang mangyayari, ang share ni B is 15 over 40. Bakit naging 40? 15 plus 10 plus 15 equals 40. Dahil tatlo na lang silang maghahati. 10,000 times 15 over 40 That is 3,750 pesos 10,000 times 10 over 40 kay C 
2,500. 15 over 40 para kay D, 3,750. Ayan. Okay. Balances after ng deficiency ni A. So, si A, 0. 23.5 minus 3.75 equals 19,750 pesos. 18 minus 2,500. 15,500. 2,500 minus 3,750. That is 1,250 pesos. Okay. May capital deficiency na, na naman. So, merong ulit possible loss. Capital deficiency of D. Okay, hindi tayo titigil hanggang hindi naging positive balance sa lahat ng mga figures dito sa ating schedule of safe payments. 1,250. Paano yan nahatiin? Di B at C. Si B would be 15 over 15 plus 10, 25. 1,250 times 15 divided by 25 equals 750 pesos. Si C, 10 over 25. 1,250 times 10 divided by 25 equals 500 pesos. Therefore, balances. 19,750 minus 750, 19,000. 15.5 minus 515,000. Okay. Ang ibig sabihin, 19,000 babayaran kay B, 15,000 ibabayad kay C. 19 plus 15 equals 34,000. Which is yun yung cash balance na natitira after ng payment ng liability. So yung 34, 19 kay B, 15 kay C. So payment to partners. Thirty-four thousand. Okay, B nineteen. Meron siyang loan. Remember, pag payment kay partner, uunahin yung loan bago yung capital. So two thousand mo na yung kay B. Then yung seventeen is sa kanyang capital account. Okay. Total payment kay B two thousand sa loan, seventeen thousand sa capital. Total is nineteen. Eto yon. Then yung fifteen kay C. Then, yung balance. Cash is 0. Non-cash assets, 26. B loan ay 0. A capital, 5,600. 25.4 minus 17. 8.4. 5.6. Then, 